Hey guys, and welcome back to this Fretted Friday. And this little box here means that we have an unboxing new guitar day today, coming right up. No prizes for guessing what manufacturer may have sent us a guitar for review today. It is, of course, another Dan Electro, and I love these things. So let's not hang about. Let's get this one out of the box and see what we've got. Oh, wow. It's not the color I was expecting. That is really strange. Okie dokie, let's get rid of that box. Boom. So the top here, I love this about Dan Electro. They give you the choice of whether or not to put the pick guard on and or literally you can choose to put it on or not. It also comes with a, a pack of hex wrenches and let's have a look at what kind of a beauty they've sent me to have a look at this time. You get to see it first, of course. Wow, look at that color. Look at that color. Now, I was expecting to be, oh, hello. Pretty much in tune, straight out of the box. Now, I was expecting a 59 Divine in dark walnut, but this clearly is not dark walnut. This is a, a really nice orange color, but it is a 59. Let's just double check on the headstock. Well, checking the tickets on the headstock, which we will take off, this is a 59 Divine, but it definitely, most certainly, is not a dark walnut guitar. This is a bright orange, let's get rid of those. Now, looking at the poster that they've kindly sent, these come in three colors. The white, the dark walnut, and this orange color. So yes, here we have a little bit, let's take this off, uh, off the toggle switch. A closer look for you. Now these have two 1950s style uh, lipstick single coil pickups. So you're gonna get all those fabulous single coil tones. They are built with a maple neck. And now this is very strange because if you can see here, this body double cut body is actually solid spruce. And if you look, it's a sandwich body again, and the back is as pretty as the front. So there we go. It is 21 frets, and it's a Palferro board, and it does seem to have a bone type nut. So, this is from the golden age of rock and roll. It comes with the classic Dan Electro Coke bottle style headstock and three aside tuners. And this one is made in Korea. Let's have another nicer wide shot look at this guitar. The input jack at the back there, I can show you that a bit clearer here. There we go. And it comes with the usual volume and tone for each of the pickups, which I love that design. I think that's really clever. And I love these little, uh, these little, like, almost like chicken head uh, pots on the top here. They look great. And it's a uh, three-way toggle switch. So you've got bridge, both, and neck pickup, although, Looking at Dan Electro, you can hardly call this a neck pickup. It's more like a middle pickup, isn't it? And these always sound so jangly to me. They've got that kind of golden age of rock and roll tone to them. I should add that this acoustically, I don't know if you can hear that. It's got that quack about it already. 
But what's more, it has got incredible resonance. really really rings and rings and rings so i know just how nice this is going to be when i finally get it plugged in and this one has come in tune now we won't be doing the tone test today we will wait until tone tuesday to try this out but i certainly can't wait to plug this in and play it for you and it's a very very nice and neat looking guitar and they're very classic it's very light let me just check it sits on the buttons really nicely as well so that's gonna balance quite nicely and yeah I, I, i'm always amazed at how light dan electros are when you pick them up and i'll put the uh, weight for you just here so that you know what the weight of this guitar is i always find it so encouraging when a guitar comes and it's already in tune that way you know that it's been set up so we'll have a quick look at that as well i would suggest that the the string height at the 12th fret is about one and a half maybe a little more than one and a half a hair over that love this bridge it's got six individually adjustable saddles and it looks like the intonation has been set, but look at the way this bridge, if you can see that, is on here. It's got one, two, three screws on that bridge. And the pickups, as always, are mounted through the back directly on these screws. And it's got the four screws holding the neck plate on. Oh, sorry holding the neck on the body they do without a neck plate and i quite like that it's quite a nice aesthetic i love the back of this guitar very very uncluttered you have still got the control cavity which sits proud a little bit but look at that flame i mean seriously just look at that flame and quite unbelievably the spruce to me looks a lot like a flame maple i don't know if that's picking up in the light here whether you can see the movement in the grain yes you can see it there as i move it there and it really does look good the palfero i'm getting really used to this palfero uh, fingerboard they come on a lot of the harley bentons and um, it's to kind of help to reduce the impact on lot endangered species endangered species of trees like brazilian rosewood and the like and this palfero which i think is uh translated roughly to ironwood it's got a real good feel to it i don't mind this palfero at all i know a lot of people are a little bit skeptical of it and if anybody's going to be skeptic it should be me but i really quite like it and it feels good under the fingers I've always got on with it. So there we go. We will have a good listen to this on Tone Tuesday. But for now, this is the unboxing and first look at the Dan Electro 59 Divine in orange. And not the dark walnut that I was expecting. Just out of interest, the RRP on this in the UK is £699, which puts it at about $750 US dollars. And I think for that kind of price, it represents pretty fantastic value for an iconic brand like Dan Electro. There we have it. So I'll be back on Tuesday with a full on sound demo of this guitar for you but in the meantime if you've enjoyed this don't forget to give it a like and a thumbs up and if you've really enjoyed it it can never hurt to subscribe and if you want to help the channel share my content with your friends uh, that you think might be interested they may be very interested i'll be back with the best demo i can do for this and in the meantime as always have yourselves a great week and take good care